Now that I have my basic bills listed in my worksheet, I think I'd like to clean it up and format it. Formatting your worksheet can make it look nice and make it easier to read. You will find some of the font formatting commands on the Home tab in the font group. Let's start by making the title bold. To do this, you first need to select the text you want to make bold. Now, just click the bold command. I think I'll do the same with all my bills here on the left. If I want to format more than one cell at a time, I can select entire columns and rows or specific cells. To select the entire column, just left click the column heading and the entire column will appear as selected. To select specific cells in the column, just click a cell and drag your mouse to select the entire cells you wish to format. Then release the mouse button. Now you can left click the bold command and all the selected cells will be formatted. Now I'll just do the same thing to this row. In addition to the bold command, you also have the italic and underline commands that work the same way. I think the title will look good in italics, so I'll just select it and click the italics command. The underline command works the same way, but it does have extra menu options. Let's add the word total in cell A29. Eventually, I'll add up my monthly bills and list it in this row. I think it would be a good idea to draw attention to this, so I'll make it bold and underline it. To format it with a simple line, just make sure the cell is selected and then click the underline command. If you want a double line, click the down arrow and select the double underline option. You can also change the font style, size, and color. To change the font style, select the cells you want to modify. I'll just left click the row 7 heading to select the entire row and then left click the font drop down box on the home tab to select the font style from the list. As you move over the font list, you'll see the fonts previewed in the spreadsheet. This is the live preview feature at work for you. I think Tahoma will look good. And I think I'll choose a different font style for the title. It looks good, but I think the font size needs to be bigger. Just select the drop down arrow next to the font size box and choose a size option. Yeah, this size looks good. While we're changing things, let me show you how to change the text color. Just select the text and then click the down arrow next to the text color command. A color palette appears. I can select the color I like or click more colors to open a dialog box and access other colors. Click the color you like and then click OK. There, that looks good. Now I'm ready to make some additional formatting changes that will make the worksheet easier to read. You can do this by adding borders and fill color to your worksheet in select places. In the font dialog box, you'll find the fill effects command and the borders command side by side. Let's go ahead and select the cells we want to add a border to. So I'll just select the rows and then click the arrow next to the borders command on the home tab. A menu appears with all sorts of choices. You can decide whether you only want a border on the top, a border on the bottom, or some type of combination. Just left click an option from the list to select it and it will appear in the worksheet. Adding fill color to cells can be a great way to format a worksheet so that it's easy to read. You may have seen some long business reports that have alternating colored rows or columns to make it easier to read. You can also change the fill color to draw attention to a specific part or just make it look nicer overall. Let's change the fill color of the title cells. Just select the cells, then click the fill command. A color palette appears. You can select the color you like or choose more colors to open a dialog box of colors. Here, I like this color right here. 
It looks pretty good, but I think I need to change my text color to white if the fill color is dark like this. I can use a fill color in the same way to format my columns to make them easier to read. You may have noticed that I have my bill amounts listed each month, but there isn't a dollar sign in front of each amount. Excel gives you the ability to change the number format. By default, the numbers appear in the general category, which means there's no special formatting. If I want to change the number formatting, I just need to select the cells and then click the drop down arrow in the number format box. From here you can see that there are many ways you can format numbers in your worksheet. Since I'm dealing with monetary amounts, I think currency or accounting will work best. To select one, just left click it. And there you go. Now the amounts appear in the currency format. In the number group, you have some other options. For example, you can change the US dollar sign to another currency format. You can change the numbers to percents and add commas. You can even change how many places appear after the decimal by clicking the increase or decrease decimal commands. Now before we wrap up, I want to add my due dates in this second column. Hmm, I really don't like the way this is formatted. To change the formatting, all you have to do is go back to the number group and click on the drop down arrow. From here, I can choose how I want my date to be displayed. Do I want it to be displayed in sh the short date format or the long date format? I think I'm going to choose a short date format. To avoid having to do this for each and every cell in this column, all I have to do is select the remaining cells where I would like to enter my dates. Now, I have to go back to the number group, click on the drop down arrow, and click on short date again. This means that no matter what format I try to enter my date, the only format that will be applied is a short date format. Here, I'll show you. Now I'll click outside of the cell for the changes to apply. See? This helps with consistency. Now things are looking pretty good, but I'd like to center my title over my entire budget. To do this, I need to left click cell A1 and drag it to my right to select all the cells over to and including O1. Now, on the Home tab in the Alignment group, I just need to click the Merge and Center command and the title is now centered over the selected cells. You'll also notice that the separate column lines no longer appear. Well, that's because the selected cells were merged into one cell. Formatting rows, columns, and text in Excel makes data look a little more interesting. Go ahead and start formatting your worksheet for a customized and appealing look.